Yo, welcome back to another episode of Phil's Patriots. Uh, we're trying to bounce back from a um, tough couple weeks, but we won last week, so that's good. Uh, before we start, make sure you like and comment down below, subscribe, put notifications so you know when we upload. And with that being said, we have a game against the Colts to get to. Let's do it. getting set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Look how good he is throwing the ball. It's his running that makes him so dangerous. He had a couple of touchdowns on the ground in last week's game. So we'll see what they dial up for him for this one. On second and two. Oh, Lord. Fields. Defensively here at the outset of this drive, they forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Oh, come on. firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Rodgers to return it. Breaks a tackle. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. You are wide open. Come on. Over first and 10. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by an exciting athlete. Fourth overall pick of the draft out of Florida. Anthony Richardson. The moment Anthony Richardson's name was announced as the fourth pick in the 2023 draft, it changed the landscape and probably our viewing habits with the NFL. He is must-see viewing. Tremendous athlete, not a lot of experience, but the ceiling as high as it possibly can be. Now the first throw of the afternoon and the connection is there. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. So, Charles, he will take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially wow. that guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you get up there. How do you not fumble that? Aw. He can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now Richardson is going to keep it running. Oh, come on. Anthony with his tenth touchdown of the season. And the Colts get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much. Okay, again, let's go. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of, you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry a wiggle for essentially two weeks. A play fake now fields to throw. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Let's go, come on. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
This offense finding its legs now. It's another first and ten. Got my phone. To throw his fields. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. Okay. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Our score 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan so Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Field throw into the hands of Pickens. And Let's go, come on. Ground, and he has another first down at the Colts 17-yard line. To the air again, Fields rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. A shotgun snap, Fields eluding the pressure right. Got it. Let's go. George Pickens, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away from drawing level. Let's go. as the kicks away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high power Damn. offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now it's Richardson. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Richardson to throw. Oh, that's fine. Incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that. Second down. Time is crucial in any route thrown, but we have to run out. So many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down? Yep, come on. On that play, all those things going through his head. Richardson looks to throw once more. Buying time to his left. He can't get him down. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll Let's be go. Eight on third and ten. The Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one okay. away. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Out of the gun, Fields. God damn. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Oh my lord. Second down, but this one is incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Ooh. Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And he just throws this one away. That was a bit strange, and here comes the flag. I didn't get a chance to do it. What do you mean? Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Wow. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle. And then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A 
nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner, it was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Throwing on third down, Fields. Oh, my Lord. Oh. With a clock down now to 13 seconds. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Damn. I tried. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10, past the halfway point of the season, and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. It's a tied football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tied game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play Come on. close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Off play action, Richardson. Oh! Almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't see the deal. We're seeing these defenses making up opportunities to play to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a coach first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Running left, Taylor. A little juke. And they get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football player. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Oh, we'll take it. That was a pick six. That was a pick six. Damn. Damn. That was a pick six. I know it. So here the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Got an open man, it's Pickens. Woo! Woo! And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35 yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields steps away to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through it. He has one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing up his accuracy. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, there hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. One play action, Fields. Oh! Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. 
The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Rodgers on the return. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defense is right now. They seem to be hit. Beating them to the point of attack. Beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Gets past one man, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Oh, thank God. What a difference a week makes. Last week he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try to chip away this time. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Oh, come on. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. This is first and ten. Richardson. Nope. Incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non stop pick. Christian Gonzalez. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, pick six, Christian. Yeah. Let's go, rookie. Yep. Let's go. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So Richardson and the Colts now. Down by 11. A minute 17 remains. Richardson to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Hold it. He's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 what? on top of this. Wow. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. Exactly what that penalty does. Throw left side complete. That's Taylor. And he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35. All three timeouts still remain. Keep that in mind. They prefer to use him on the defensive end. But here's first and ten. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Richardson. Damn. And he takes this one into the end zone and all sudden here in the final minute things get a little bit tighter they'll let Taylor try yep on, nope but he will not get in here he stepped up short of the goal line and this will remain a five point game so the defense gets the stop I know it's situation to situation but who has more pressure there offense or defense when they go for two I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the team. Whoa. You can run it, you can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive. Oh, and come on. And try and bring pressure. Here's first and ten. 
Here's Richardson. Yep. Come on, defense. He doesn't drop any like that one. Second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is Pick. Woo! Pick Christian Gonzalez. Let's go, Christian Gonzalez. Let's go. We're greedy. Oh, imagine. Oof. Yep, good one again. Down, good win. Thank you. I had to. He was clutch. Two ninety-eight, two one. Let's go. We needed that. We needed that. We needed that. We needed that. Let's see. Boom. Pickens. I'm surprised Gonzo didn't get any. Okay. Uh, okay, we have a bye week. Okay, hey, that's the end of the episode. Much needed W. We're four and six. We're still three games behind, but I think we're improving. Uh, we're playing better behind Justin Fields, thank God. So hey, we're keep we're gonna keep pushing. So with that being said. Make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, put notifications so you know when we upload. And with that being said, we'll see you next time on Baller Central Gaming. Yeah.